So upon checking my newsfeed on Facebook, I happen to see this post right here. Funny, right? But I can't blame her husband for doing that. Why? Let's see what has been the problem in this case. Suppose you ask me how long will it take for you to go to a certain place, and I just answered, it will take you 5. But Coach Faith, what 5? Is it 5 minutes, 5 hours, or 5 days? See, a mere number doesn't have an absolute meaning without this. Units Units provide value or meaning in numbers. It is used to express measurements of different physical properties. With all the different ways of how to measure things, came up with systems of measurement. There are two common systems that are used in the present, the metric system and the English system. Let's revisit first how we came up with these two. One of the earliest measurements recorded was with the ancient Egypt. These measurements were usually based on the parts of the body. A well-documented example is cubit, which was derived from the length of the arm, from the elbow to the outstretched fingertips. As the world is progressing, this system of measurement grew out of the manner in which people secured measurements using body parts and familiar objects. For example, shorter ground distances were measured with the human foot. Capacities were measured with household items such as cups, pails, gallons, and baskets. But the problem that arose here is that body parts and things used in measuring is not precise for it differs from one person to another. That's why in 1824, the Weights and Measures Act was established. These act defined a standardized set of measures for the British Empire, known as the Imperial Units, or what we know now as the English System of Measurement. Some common units that are used in the system are inches, foot, ounces, miles, and pounds. On the other hand, one of the most significant results of French Revolution was the establishment of metric system of measurements in 1795. Since the English system is still confusing to use because of the different conversion factors, the National Assembly of France requested the French Academy of Sciences to deduce an invariable standard for all the measures and all the weights. They created a system that at once, simple and scientific, resulting that conversions are quickly made by multiplying or dividing by factors of 10. Prefixes are easily attached to any metric unit to change the scale of it. Common units that we use now are meter, grams, liter, and second. Because of the metric system's adaptability to scientific and engineering work, adoption of the system flourished around the globe except in these three countries, Liberia, Myanmar, and of course, the United States. In relation to metric system, the International System of Units, abbreviated SI, from the French words Système International d'Unité, was also established. This is the official system of measurement used in the scientific world. All the SI units can be formed by combining its seven base units, and these are Meter for length, kilogram for mass, Kelvin for temperature, second for time, mole for the amount of substance, ampere for electric current, and lumen for luminous intensity. There you have it! With all the units that are existing today, make sure to add one in your list of groceries when you are tasked to buy in the market to avoid confusion. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to watch our previous episodes here. Subscribe and you may check our social media accounts below to keep you posted. Thanks for watching. This is Tech Robotics and we will see you on our next video.